Hi everyone, uh, this is Chris from Dark One, and I'm here to tell you about uh, our loot spawning system that we're using on an upcoming game. So, first of all, I'm just going to talk about how a loot spawning system should work. So, there's a few elements uh, that we've been thinking about that we will need in our new game. So, I'm just gonna type them out right here. So, first of all, we would like to have uh, a different uh, types of loot. So different types of loot. You might want to have weapons, like uh, consumable items. Maybe in your game you would like to have uh, upgrades, etc. <laughs> and so most of these uh, types of uh, web, or types of upgrades or loot uh, should spawn in different uh, types of zone so it will be really weird if you find your weapon inside of reach but then again uh, you would like to have food inside your fridge or consumable items so based on this we, we can uh, say that uh, different types of loot spawn on different spawn points Okay, so that's one characteristic of our loot system that we would like to have. Another thing that we need is... Uh, so, some loot should be... Uh, should spawn, uh, you know, vast amounts. So, uh, and other things like weapons should be much rarer. So, we need to have some kind of um, probability or, let's say, availability of items so you know high higher tier loot should be more rare than everything else uh, low tier should be pretty much really abundant and you can find them anywhere uh, yeah okay so another thing that we need for our game for our, and you know probably many other games uh, so different uh, loot should spawn on different locations. So let's let's think of let's think about uh, Half-Life for example. The special weapon, you know, Half-Life is not maybe not a good example, but uh, you can only find some kind of weapons in different areas. So uh, you know, the bug gun you can only find find in the alien planet, uh, and you know, different kinds of loot you get in different uh, parts of the game. So early on you get lower tier loot and later you get a higher tier loot so uh, we can just say that different loot spawns in different locations uh, what else uh, okay I think this this is this covers the basics of the system that we need for our game uh, so how we're going to do this uh, oh yeah there's one more thing I forgot so which is we want loot to get to be consistent because uh, if the loot is procedurally generated or spawned in the game, then it's going to be good to know that at least that in the world there is at least one shotgun or one uh, one of anything really that you want to have in the game. So you know, you you want those numbers to be sort of fixed. So in our in our uh, proposed system, what we're doing is well, first of all we have this. Uh, data editor for items. So every kind of item that's in the game uh, has this kind of editor made for it and in it you can define uh, a prefab for the spawned item and a type of the, the loot. So is this ammo? Is this uh, consumable? Is this uh, you know medical equipment or whatever? Uh, and we also have a spawn probability uh, so this is not like a percent but this is relative to everything else so if uh, AA batteries have a spawn probability of 0 0.2 and something else has a probability of 0 0.2 then uh, they, they're both going to spawn uh, the same amount of items or if something else has 0 0.4 it's going to spawn uh, double uh, you know double amount of items than uh, this AA batteries here so this is where we define uh, all the loot and uh, different probabilities. It's super easy to 
to work with uh, for our designers so no programming involved just change some values and just gonna propagate in the game uh, so this pretty much covers uh, the probability slash availability of items uh, then different types of food spawn and different spawn points so in each point, in each spawn point uh, inside our world, I'm just going to demonstrate this really quickly, uh, has a loot type. So uh, this uh, loot point can spawn weapons and ammo. This can spawn weapons and ammo. This can also spawn a consumable item. Something else may spawn, you know, a consumable item. So this is just like a checkbox that you, you, that we can change. Um, so that that is covering the different types of loot spawn on different spawn points. Okay, different kinds of spawn points. Uh, okay, so the next thing is uh, different loot should spawn on different locations. So for this, this is a little bit, little bit more challenging than everything else I've talked to talked about so far, uh, and in our uh, proposed solution we're using uh, different loot surfaces so what what is a loot surface in our in our example so as you can see this is just uh, a renderer with a collider some script over here and uh, a material attached so what this does is when we're just, when our spawn system tries to spawn something it uses all these surfaces to detect whether or not a certain type of item can spawn on that location so here's an example. Uh, this is AA batteries uh, that we have defined on this loose spawn code. So uh, first of all, this uh, this surface is only for this type of item. So each each type of type of item should have one surface for it. And uh, the texture here defines exactly or in which locations it can spawn. So right here, it can spawn on this white circle over here. All the black stuff, no, it's not gonna spawn anything. Um, so uh, maybe it's 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 gonna be really hard if we were go going to do all these by hand by opening Photoshop or whatever. So we developed a little utility uh, using a library called uh, In Canvas. In Canvas is an open source library that allows you to draw some to draw stuff uh, on objects inside Unity. Um, so we we're, we've implemented it to be able to uh, basically paint on. Uh, these surfaces. So I'm just going to demonstrate how this painting works. So we're going to the data editor. Uh, we're going to say select AA batteries and just going to type, push this button, paint it. Uh, so now I'm able to paint using this circle thing. So I'm just going to make all this white. So this uh, now from now on, the AA batteries can spawn on most of these loot points so this can be really useful if you want to define for example if you have a, a hospital you'd like to have all of the most of the special uh, med kit items inside it or maybe you have a hangar and you want to have like uh, anti-air guns or whatever uh, you can go wild with this thing uh, so yeah uh, now that is covering also the different loot to spawn in different locations requirement and the last one is we want loot to be consistent so the way we're doing this is we have a certain amount of loot points uh, the loot points are uh, should be fixed inside the game to be able to achieve this um, so make sure that uh, on each spawning, uh, wh whenever you want to spawn anything, uh, all of these have the same numbers at the same uh, points of your game. Um, so right here we have the, the actual spawn system that uh, is doing the spawning. Uh, what it does is it takes the, all of these points and decides to take a certain percentage of those. So, for example, right now it takes 60% of these loot points, uh, so it's going to cover 60% of these loot points uh, with items. Uh, okay, so that says, for example, in this case, it's going to be okay. We're going to spawn uh, three items. Okay, so for this, those three items, what kind of distribution are we going to have? Uh, 
then it it's using all of those uh, uh, spawn probability values on all items. Uh, it's summing them up, summing them up, up, and normalizing each of them in the value of zero, to zero point uh, from zero to one, where uh, one means it's going to spawn on all items, which none of the items will actually have, but. Uh, is uh, then it so it basically translates the spawn probability into percentages, and then uh, it's shuffling all these loot points and it goes one by one in random in a random order, and uh, first attempts to find all the rarest rarest item. So we're going to do this to be able to have all types of items on all places. So it takes the rarest item, spawns it on the location. Um, it's per, uh, the rarest available item. Uh, so we're calculating the the full amount of items that we need to have. So based on those percentages and on the loot points that we're gonna have, we're just getting a new uh, new value that says, okay, in this world that we're going to have, for example, uh, two medkits, and this will always be true because the loot points are always fixed. Uh, we're not going to change the uh, spawn percentages, of course, uh, to be to be consistent. Uh, so yeah, this world is going to have always consistent amount of items of certain types. Uh, well, I I have really hope that uh, the spawn point, the spawn uh, system can that I just described, someone can find useful. Uh, Right. Please write your comments if you have anything to add or if you have any questions and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.